Yeah, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. Today we're going to be doing the May edition of the Grand Slam Card Club All-Star Premium Box. That's right, the premium box. This comes in at a price tag of right around, I want to say, $135 off the top of my head. I believe that's shipped and, uh, you know, no tax or anything like that, so it's all good. Uh, they start these boxes as low as, I still believe, around $20 or so. You can... They have so many different choices and selections on their website, which I will link in the description as always. But uh, yeah, you can build boxes from like $20 all the way up to well over the $135 now. I believe there's higher levels, but uh, I've been kind of sticking with this premium level here with the All-Star box. Um, great stuff. You normally, uh, I think it's like 12 to 15 packs, and they've been including uh, a couple of hits in each box every month. You know, James, the owner of the Grand Slam Card Club, does a great job with his product. It's one of the ones I really enjoy. And if you guys want the social media, it's right there. Like I said, I'll put it in the description below. But, uh, yeah, they do a pretty good job because, you know, it might not be the highest of highest end packs. But you do get a lot of packs. And I do feel you get a pretty good bang for your buck. And the biggest thing I like is the variety. You get a heck of a lot of things. You know, some packs you see a lot in sub boxes. But a lot of the packs in here are going to be packs that you... You know, don't normally see in uh, certain sub boxes. Got some real power in the background there, left to right. We got uh, the Ronald Acuna Jr. PSA. They're both PSA 10, but uh, PSA 10 2018 Tops Update Rookie Card. And obviously, he's on fire this year, having a heck of a year. And on the right side, another guy having the best start to his career. Uh, 2011 Tops Update PSA 10 Mike Trout. So two guys are just as of the recording of this video, are just on fire this year. But let's get into this and see what the Grand Slam Card Club brings us this time. We will open this up. This is how it comes in the mail, is in this box here. Uh, they give you a little bit of packing peanuts, which obviously we're going to move that out of the way. I pre-cut the tape just to get that out of our way to not have to worry about that on camera. Haven't pulled these out though yet. Uh, pretty good stack of packs here as usual. And just kind of pull these all out. I see some definite packs I'm excited for. You guys can see it's everything in there. Close this up. We'll actually throw it up here in the background. If it'll stay up there, hopefully not fall over. But, uh, I mean, look at this. You know, guys, you're getting a lot of packs. And like I said, you know, for 135 bucks with the price of today's, you know, wax and cards and stuff, that's a good, good value in my opinion. And let's see what we got. I see we got our hits at the top here, but uh, we'll just show them as they come i'm not going to save them 2017 update that's a hobby pack and you guys will have to bear with me here with saying the hobby pack over and over and stuff but uh, i do want to point out anything that's hobby compared to retail so you guys that are interested in buying this maybe know this in advance but uh yeah 2017 update hobby pack we got our hits we got a uh from the walmart holiday it looks like the tops holiday there uh noah Syndergaard. that looks like that's going to be what 2000 maybe 16 uh, yeah, 2016. Yep. Tops Walmart Holiday Mega Box. So a Thor relic card there. And we got an auto right behind there from Inception, number 36 of 249. Rookie card auto, and it's on card, which is also cool, of course. Uh, Inception, though, that you're going to find that. So Luke Weaver, pretty cool right there. So those are kind of just bonus throw ins from James, the owner. Appreciate those when he throws those in. So those bad boys there back to the pack so one pack down so far we got 2021 series one that's a hobby pack 2016 series two that's a hobby pack 20 chrome that's a hobby pack 20 stadium club hobby pack here we go look at this one 2014 bowman draft asia edition hobby pack obviously that's a pretty cool pack you don't see very often Here's a heck of a good set, 2020 Bowman Heritage Hobby Pack there, obviously. we got 2018 Gypsy Queen Hobby Pack there. 2015 Bowman, uh, that is a Hobby Pack. That is pretty cool. 2020 Update Hobby Pack. 2013 Bowman, that is a Hobby Pack. You guys can kind of see that H right there. 2020 Heritage High Number Hobby Pack. And last but not least, 2012 bowman draft picks and prospects that is a hobby pack as well so a total of if you weren't counting one two three four five six seven another six 13 packs guys i i mean you're talking about roughly ten dollars per pack and i mean i know some of these 
i.e. like you know updating stuff might not be worth it but in all honesty that's a very good variety of uh, packs and stuff. I love the pack ver variety and, uh, you know, variants month to month here. Uh, you know, it's definitely the bang for the buck. You know, I, I, I can't complain about this at all. So let's get into this. So let's do our 2020 update pack right off the bat. See if we can get a Randy Ayers Arena. It's definitely the driving force behind here. Maybe we can get a short print or something cool. Uh, Trent Grisham, maybe. Tommy Pham starts us off. Miggy. Uh, Valoria. There's Mr. Acuna. Obviously, it's going to be a second-year card at that point. Or, I'm sorry, third-year card. Aaron Bummer. Jesus Lizard. That's a rookie card there. It's a rookie debut card, though. Obviously, you can see that date stamp there. This have about half the value of the normal. Followed up by a nice Kyle Lewis uh, rookie debut card as well. Johnny Davis rookie card behind there. Jake DeGrom all-star card. Polar Bear, my boy. Uh, and the Squirrel celebrating there. Guess we'll do a tops flip. Jesus Aguilar, Bregman, uh, Kyle Higashioka, and Robbie Cano. So I'll take the Kyle Lewis uh, and the Jesus Lazardo for sure. Those were the best cards of that pack. Let's get a little bit of maybe organization here. Kind of the cards that, or the uh, packs I'm excited a little bit more for than the others. Kind of just gonna. So many packs. Sprawl these out, maybe keep the Bowman stuff together a little bit. Do the flagship stuff. So let's do the 2021 Series 1. Huge rookie class here, guys. Lots and lots of rookies. We'll see over time who really, really pans out and who becomes a bust. But, I mean, right now it's a, a very good rookie class. So Mike Clevenger starts us off. Alex Bregman. Jesus Lazar, Future Stars card there. Christian Javier, a rookie. Do the top slip again for uh, LSU Maniac there. Christian Yelich, Chris Taylor, Motor City Mashers, Howie Kendrick, Byron Buxton. Then we got one of these uh, throwback cards there. Mr. Smile, Frankie Lindor, formerly of the Cleveland Indians there. You guys can check out the back of that if you're interested in that. Uh, Wilmer Flores, Blake Snell, Corey Seager, and last but not least, Marcus Simeon. So no... Really, per se, giant rookies in that pack. No big deal. I think we're going to do all the flagship stuff right off the bat. Uh, I thought we had maybe one more. No, maybe not one more. These two here. All right, let's do our 2017 update. What the heck? Let's go reverse chronological order here. 2017 updates. See if we can get any of the big rookies there with maybe the rookie debut cards or something like that. I'm not talking about Ryan uh, Stanek. But uh, that is a rookie. Chris Bostick, rookie card there. Drew Steckenrider, rookie there. Ben Revere. Jan Mankata, that's a decent one. Take that. That's definitely the best card of this pack. John Smoltz. That's got to be a photo variation, right? Or short print or something. Let's look at the back of this Stanek for the code. 517. Let's check out the back of that John Smoltz. There we go. Heck yeah. Look at that. Get that to focus. 557. That is indeed a short print. Uh, John Smoltz. Really, really nice. That is cool. Set that in our good pile here for sure. And I'm actually going to put that Yon Mankata, uh in that pile as well to get sleeved up. History Makers, the uh, North Side's one two punch. You Darvish. Carlos Martinez. And last but not least, don't this. Don't, uh, what a tongue twister. Don't just stand there, Buster Posey. All right, 2016 Series 2 is up next. I think that does it for the flagship stuff then. Got to love a lot of Bowman packs in here. That is a nice thing. All right, let's see what we got here. So Ryan Straussburger, trying to get that glare off for you guys. Rookie card starts us off. Mike Fultanowicz, holy heck, with the tops flips here. Gene Segura. Nori Aoki, we got a JT Real Muto, rookie cup card there, Future Stars, decent one, obviously. Masahiro Tanaka, 100 years at uh, Wrigley Field with Hal Neuhauser. Trying to get that to show for you guys there, it's quite a bit of shine on that uh, red print. I almost thought we had a backwards card, but we don't. We have Anthony Rendon. It's a really cool looking card though, in all honesty, as a cool photo. Tyler Saladino, and last but not least, Miguel 
Almonte rookie card there. And I'll have to check for any other, you know, short prints or variations. I'll do that after. Uh, what the heck? Let's just do this heritage high number, I guess. See if we get a Luis Robert. That's pretty much who you're looking for here, other than obviously like a, uh, a relic or an auto or something like that. And everything looks like it's autographed if you're not familiar with Heritage. Uh, we're going to be looking for, like, blue ink, which shows it's an actual auto, not the black ink that's printed. Uh, ben Zobrist, Jonathan Scope, Emilio Pagan, Felix Hernandez, Rookie Performers, Zach Gallen, Cargo, uh, Dustin Garneau, Robbie Grossman, and Tommy Malone. So I didn't really notice anything crazy there. I'll have to check uh, the back and stuff like that, but I don't think anything crazy in that pack. Do the Stadium Club up next, 2020. You guys know the big rookies in here. Looking for an auto. I don't see any different card stock, so probably no auto. Let's hope for a decent rookie, though. Bob Starling rookie starts us off. Kyle Schwarber right behind there. Austin Riley. I'm sorry if you guys can't see the name. It's really tough with the uh, glares here. Jock Peterson. There we go. There's a nice, look at that, Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a really cool looking card right there. We got a backwards Austin Hayes. I'm going to guess red foil. That's what they normally get. Red foil. Those are the most prevalent uh, in Stadium Club. Marcus Simeon. And last but not least, Tommy Edmonds. So that Tatis Jr. is definitely the, uh, the card of that pack. I think I'm going to do all this Bowman in the end. Uh, so I'm going to keep all the Bowman together. Do the Gypsy Queen next, then we'll do the Topps Chrome. Uh, and this Gypsy Queen from 2018, I'm pretty positive you can't get Juan Soto, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm not even sure if Shohei Otani's in here or not, who's having a definite bounce back year so far. But uh, you can get some good autos and some really good pulls still. Let's see what we get. Alex Bregman, Sean Newcomb, Joe Panic. Chris Davis. We got a rookie. Oh, Harrison Bader. Nice. Heck yeah, guys, that is the box hit. Uh, I believe you get one auto per hobby box, unless it's two, but I think it's one. Uh, nice on-card autograph there of Harrison Bader. Heck yeah, let's go. Really, really nice stuff. There you go, heck yeah. I love Gypsy Queen, I really do. Uh, then we got a Nick Williams rookie card right behind there. Jose Abreu and Juan Ligaris. So not a bad pack at all there. All right, let's do our 2020 Tops Chrome. It's going to take a lot of luck to get uh, an auto in here, but you never know, guys. You never know. just takes one. I don't see any different card stock, so probably no auto or parallel, but you can still get a really nice rookie card. Let's get a Luis Robert. Jose Ramirez, Alex Young rookie, and then I think this is going to be a uh, freshman flash. Yep, hey, it's a good one, though. Gavin, Gavin Lux, not Gavin. Gavin Lux uh, rookie. And that's, uh, oh, wow, look at that. Did you guys just see that? I don't know if you saw it or not. How about this? Piece of a chrome card. I'm not sure if it's one of these ones or not. No, it doesn't look like it. It just literally fell out of the pack, so it's a uh, cut from another card, I guess. Thanks for the bonus there, Tops. But uh, pretty cool freshman flash of Gavin Lux. That's a good one. And our last card is uh, Rogelio Armenteros. You guys can see the back of that Gavin Lux if you're curious. Like I said, that is not a refractor. All the freshman flashes are refractors, but I'll take it. I'll take that bonus piece even there. No way of telling who that is. It looks like it's a refractor, though, on the on this side. I know you can't even see with the focus. I'm sorry, guys, but it uh, looks like it's a little bit of refractor action. All right, let's start, I guess, with Bowman Heritage, um, and then we'll kind of do all these other Bowman packs here. So Bowman Heritage... Beautiful stuff. It's a throwback, I believe, to the 92 design in here, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, get a couple of chrome cards in here. It's going to take some luck, like I said, to get an auto, but they do have autos in here. We've got an Abraham Toro, rookie to start us. Jackson Rutledge, Estevan Florial, Seth Brown, rookie. Bobby Witt Jr. is a nice prospect card. Uh, Debbie Garcia, also not a good prospect. Our chromes, Blake Rutherford. And we've got a backwards card. Aaron Ashby. Why was that backwards? I thought maybe we had an auto for a minute. I got really excited there. But uh, I'm not sure why that was backwards. Interesting. But Aaron Ashby Chrome, I guess. Ryan Rolson and Brennan Davis. So, I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look maybe after the fact. But uh, 
I didn't see anything off the top of my head that pop, made that pop. Uh, let's see, 2012. I'm, I'm going to do this maybe in reverse chronological order, I'm thinking. So 2012, 13, 14, 15. All right. 2015 Bowman. Can't stand the uh, the fonts and the layouts of 2015. I mean, there are good rookies in here, don't get me wrong. It's just I hate the uh, the fonts and stuff on paper. You guys will see here why momentarily if you are not familiar with this. That's why. Can't even, uh, you can't see the name at first look. You have to just move it just the right way. But that's a nice Manny Machado right there. But holy crap. Yeah, these cards are really hard to do on camera. Uh, Gregor Blanco. Yasiel Puig. Our Chrome is a Tim Anderson. And behind there, we got another paper. It's a first of Tyler Wagner. Robert uh, Ref Snyder. Man, that is hard to see. Mike Treviso. Another Chrome of Robert Stevenson. And back to papers for Matt Carpenter, last but not least, Cole Calhoun. So really nothing too crazy there. I like that Manny Machado, but, uh, yeah, nothing really crazy there. 2014 Bowman Draft, the Asia edition. I don't know if I've ever opened a pack of this before. I do like the 2014 design quite a bit. Uh, I don't think there's a different card stuck, but we'll see. What is that? Is that a black? Or no, maybe that's all the uh, the base cards, I guess, in the Asia edition. I'm, not, I'm just not used to this. So Franklin Barreto starts us off. And if you're not familiar, I'll show you the back of one of these, what they look like. If you're curious what they look like, it's pretty standard. But uh, there's that. We've got Nick Howard, first Bowman behind there. Looks like we're getting to a chrome, and then we have a refractor. First chrome is a Daniel Robertson. And then we've got a chrome refractor behind there. Oh, that's a good one. Kyle Schwarber, heck yeah. First Bowman Chrome Refractor Asia Edition of uh, Kyle Schwarber. That's a good one for sure. We'll definitely sleeve that bad boy up. Braxton Davidson, first Bowman. Corey Seager, Prospects card. That's a good one as well. And then a first Bowman of Chase Vallott. So not bad. I like that Corey Seager also. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's move on to 2013. 2013 Bowman. See what we get here. We got some kind of die cut for sure. No clue off the top of my head what the die cuts were in uh, 2013. Maybe we'll get some real luck and get something autographed. That is Todd Frazier. It's really kind of tough to get that to show on camera, but that is Todd Frazier. I guess we're going to be doing some flips. Marco Sotero. Oh, of course, and another flip. Chris Hall. Jonathan Scope. We get a gold paper rookie? Is that Jory's Familia? Yes, it is. Now, let's check that out here in a minute. We got that kind of die cut or mini card behind there. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's when they did one per pack because I don't see any numbering on there at all. Uh, if that were like true gold, you would think that'd be out of 50, but uh, I'll take it. Jury's Familia will say gold in air quotes rookie card there. I'm going to sleeve that up. The, oh, it's a mini card. That's what we had going on, not a die cut. Avisio Garcia, Chrome Mini. I'll show you guys the back of that if you're curious. Then we got a Chrome of Dane Phillips. Behind there, back to paper for Brett Lowry, you Darvish, and Ian Kinsler. So there you go with that, guys. I like that. Jerry's familiar. The Mets fans, I like the uh, that card for sure. Our last pack, 2012 Bowman Draft Picks and Prospects. Featured there on the front is Dylan Bundy for the Orioles. Let's see what we can get in this pack here. Maybe a different card stuck, but maybe that's just Chrome. I can't tell. Let's see what the heck we have, though. So first Bowman of Hunter Scantling. And I apologize. Like I said, guys, some of these fonts are really hard to show on camera. There's a nice uh, Giannis Cespedes. Rookie card there. You don't see that pulled too often. I'll actually sleeve that up. That's a pretty cool card. I know he's uh, definitely fizzled quite a ways down, but uh, Brian Dozier rookie card is very nice as well. Chrome of Joe Kelly. That's a Chrome rookie. Behind that Joe Kelly is our other Chrome. It's a first of Adam Giacalone. 
or Giacalone. Behind there, we got Prospect Challenge. What the heck that is this? A promo card, I guess? Yeah, if you want this, be my guest. I don't think that's any good anymore for that code, but I guess it's a little advertisement. And we wind down with a Shane Watson. And last but not least, hey, Mitch Haniger. That's a nice one. Mitch Haniger, first Bowman paper. So not bad there as well. So there you go, guys. I mean, honestly, some pretty decent pulls. You guys can see why I like the uh, the variation and kind of why I like this box. You know, some of the good cards I set aside, that Cespedes and uh, Haniger there from the last pack. Jerry's Familia, we'll just call it gold paper rookie for right now. That Kyle Schwarber chrome uh, refractor first boom in there is beautiful. The Gavin Lux freshman flash. We've got our auto, that Harrison Bader rookie card from 2018, Gypsy Queen. The Yon Makata rookie card. And the John Smoltz short print from 2017 update. So that's not too bad, plus the two hits, you know, that uh, James from the uh, Grand Slam Card Club threw in and stuff. You, know, you can't beat it, guys, honestly. Big stack of cards, lots of variation in the packs. I love it. I believe my promo code is still good for anybody that's interested in trying them for the first time. Get you 5% off your first order. Use the promo code GROWIN1. That's G-R-O-W-I-N and the number one, so GROWIN1. Get you 5% off of your first order, and I will, uh, like I said, obviously link all this in the description for everybody. Uh, as always, other than that, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. But, uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share. And other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.